Well, I just want to welcome everyone to another episode of RG22 Outdoor Adventures, and I'm pretty excited today because I am building what I think was one of my favorite um, lures out of the entire videos that I've made of all my lure building videos. Uh, this one is by far probably my favorite one. Uh, it's going to be a short, um, like the title says, a short, fat, stubby uh, through wire cedar wood crankbait that's going to be used for trolling for muskie. And um, as you can see in the video right now, um, as I've been talking, you've been seeing me sketching out the basic shape of the lure. Um, it's probably going to be about four and a half to five inches long. Um, I took two pieces of three quarter inch cedar and glued them together and drew the basic shape. I basically what I did was um, took a made pretty much like a 30, 60, 90 triangle and just really rounded it out and kind of stretched out the, um, the dimensions a little bit. So, and then, so right now after I've sketched it all out, I'm going over the basic shape um, that I'm going to cut off the bandsaw with the Sharpie marker. And um, when that's done, like I said, when I'm done with that, that's going over to the bandsaw and we're going to get a cut and uh, get a sand and everything. So there you can see I did the eye and then after that uh, I start measuring out where I'm going to place a diving lip and everything else. So... Let's continue building and we're going to get to the point where we're going to start uh, working on the diving lip. So basically as you've seen in all my other videos, I'll use the calipers, measure the diving lip, out, uh, the thickness, and then kind of draw that out with pencil. And then I'm taking a gauge and measuring out an angle. I think this was about 30 degrees. We'll get that drawn out, get the lines parallel, get everything stuck to the thickness of the diving lip. And then from there we take it over to the, we take it over to the bandsaw and get a cut. Not a whole lot to this part, like I said, you guys have seen it on many other videos. All right, at this point I've already done all the outlines, and um, now I am cutting the lure on the bandsaw. And obviously we're going to follow the lines, just stay a little bit um, past them, so that way we have some room to sand and get everything nice and straight and smooth. All right, so to recap on the build so far, um, we've drawn, we took the, we took two, two planks of cedar, glued them together, and when that was done, we had that blue tape on, drew the shape of the lure out. After that was completed, we took the lure over to the, I took the lure over to the bandsaw and cut the basic shape out. Now that the basic shape is all cut out, it's time to start um, actually sanding it and getting all the edges and everything nice and smooth crisp and even which is going to make make it so much easier when we're um, drawing our center line chamfer lines and then actually kind of just starting to get the shape and the carving and everything of the lure to make it look like something uh, but before we do all that um, the lure was going to go over to the drill press we're going to get the eye sockets drilled out at least the um, marking with the drill bit and then the forstner bit Getting the lead hole drilled out, I think I used a 5 8 uh, Forstner bit for that. And then getting the lure drill, the, getting the, um, the through wire channel drilled out, which is something I tried for the very first time, which was pretty difficult. And then um, cutting out the diving lip and everything like that. So enjoy the rest of the video. We'll try to do some of this in a time lapse until we get to the point where we're painting.
Wow, we have done quite a bit on this uh, lure so far. We've done a lot of sanding, a lot of uh, uh, cutting pieces off, cutting angles, um, cutting the diving lip, marking the eyes. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? I think we also uh, drilled the, the uh, lead hole. And uh, we also drilled the wire or the through wire hole as well that the line tie and the rear hook hanger are all going to go through as well as the uh, bottom hook hanger that will go through the lead hole. And that's going to be tied into the through wire that's going through the um, that's going to go through the lure with the line tie. So basically, so now it's time. And we, oh, yeah, I forgot. We also did all the chamfer lines. So. Now that we have all the chamfer lines drawn, it's time to carve. So I've gotten the um, knife all sharpened up on this from the leather strop. And uh, we're just going to start carving along the uh, chamfer lines and trying to stay trying to stay inside of those. So we'll do all the way go all the way around the lure. And um, well, that's pretty much it for that. And after that, it's more sanding and shaping till we get our final shape. And then we will uh, get the get the um the diving lip all uh, set up and drawn out and cut and we'll keep moving from there and we're getting closer and closer to actually painting the lure so stay tuned well you know it just really amazes me the progress that we make on the, that uh we make on these lures and we've got the whole thing carved out all the chamfer lines and everything are carved uh, I've got the lure and vise, and now it's time to start doing a lot of sanding. Uh, right now it's just kind of roughing it out, uh, getting the general shape. And once all that's done, once I've done all of the sides, the corners, the top, front, back, whatever, wherever those chamfer lines are, once all that is done sanded, um, it's all down to finish sanding after that. And going from coarse grits all the way down to the finest grits that I have. I think I've got done almost 400 grits. And I took the, and I will sand all the way down to that, to those 400 yards. Or 400, that 400 grit sandpaper. And getting the, getting this lure super smooth. When all that's done, I'm going to start adding some coats of finish. Or a sealant. We're going to get the wood sealed. And I think on this particular one, I think I did like three or four coats. Let it, let each one dry. And when I was completely done, I took a extremely fine grit sandpaper, probably 400 again, and went over all of that and got it really nice and smooth uh, before I did my paint. So we got the sanding here. We'll keep sanding, get it nice and smooth, and then we'll start moving on from there. So stick around and uh, keep watching the video. And again, thanks for watching and hopefully you guys like what you see and you guys will subscribe, like it, and keep passing these videos on to, to some of your friends and families who are into this stuff as well. So I did a little bit of work off camera on the diving lip. I took a piece of acrylic, cut it, squared it all up. And then I started working on the shape of the diving lip and came up with this basic shape here just with a curved uh, bottom part of the lip and then got it all fitted together and made sure everything looks right. After that got the center line uh, drawn out and I also got the holes drilled for the line ties. And when this is all done we're going to take it over to the belt sander and get it all sanded up make sure it fits again and get it glued into the lure. So enjoy, uh, just stay tuned and you know what, let's, uh, let's keep going on this. It's looking good and I think we're really coming along. Well, have you seen, as you have seen on all of my other videos, um, basically all the steps are pretty much the same. And I've got the, um, the, lure, the, the diving lip all cut out and I'm over here on the disc sander and I'm going to get it all sanded out. And after it is all shaped on the disc sander, that's where that's when um, I'm going to take a bunch of sand, different grits of sandpaper, work my way to ever finer, finer grits. And then um, after that, we get it all polished on the strop once it's all done. When it's done, it's got a nice mirror-like shine to it. And you can see right through it. And it just looks really awesome. Right now, I'm uh, working on the 
the eye sockets. And these are going to, I'm going to have some glass eyes in these along with some mylar. And using a half inch Forstner bit, we're going to put the eye sockets in, and that will obviously allow us to um, put in our glass eyes. Then after that, and from there, we just get the diving lip in, get the all the hardware put on, and we get it sealed up, and then we actually start painting. So it's really looking good, and I'm really excited that we're moving on like this. All right, well, you know what? I've got the eyes drilled out. We got this all cut out, the lead holes drilled, and then our through wire holes are drilled out too. And we managed to actually go all the way through the exact middle of the lure. Had to make a few corrections over here, but uh, you know what, that's okay. And then obviously we're going to get uh, this part here filled in. I got the diving lip all cut out. Uh, you saw that done. I got the holes drilled for the diving, uh, for the line tie. And let's see how this is going to look all put together. Just to kind of give us an idea. And seeing, seeing that we're actually making headway on this. It's actually a little bit more motivation um, to keep make just to keep going. We know this looks like it's going to turn out pretty good. Uh, we just got to get everything all lined up here, and then we'll get it all epoxied in, and we'll be good to go. So we're almost to the point where we're going to be painting it and finishing the lure up. So let's get started on the through wire. And we'll run that through here and then run it through the lure and then um, get it tied off here in the back. All right, so now I'm going to start making the through wire. Uh, this is the top of our of the lure of the diving lip. So the furthest end is going to go down. Okay folks, here we go. This is the lure so far. See we got the diving lip in. Hope it's not too big. Got my line tie. Hopefully this lure stays nice and stable and doesn't spin like some of my other ones I've done like this. Our hook hanger and then we're going to have our back hook hanger right here. Okay, until next time. Welcome back, and I had to redo everything. I messed up on some of the paint. Um, didn't come out like how I wanted, wanted it. So, redid it. And now we're going to do it again. So, I made a silver paint from some transparent gray and pearlized white with a lot of reducer. And what I'm going to do is I can just have a continuous spray. Okay, so next is going to be some Wicked Thalo Green. I know I did a little bit already, but unfortunately I did that and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So we'll do it again.
go. White. And then we'll do our stripes. And then we'll do our scales. Just a little bit. There, that's all we need. Now what I want to do See there we go, look at that Almost starting to look like something Next, on the white bass, are going to be the stripes. Um, so there's the stripes. We got the blue a little bit. Now we're going to do these stripes. And as you can see, um, they're kind of broken up. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the lines and the scales, and then I'll do the lines again with each individual scale longest one being in the middle and they get shorter progressively up the top okay but, okay that's good all right let's do that um, I think we're going to use a transparent black so let's do our jet black We don't need a lot, just a little bit. Just, just enough to load the paint up on the brush. Okay. So what I did, I did the scales all in pearl white. Unfortunately, I forgot to record it. So next I want to do a little bit of gold because I want the color, as the lure is going through the water, I kind of want the color to shift a little bit from this pearl white to maybe a little bit of gold in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this way. Not a lot, just really light. So I'm going to be pointing and spraying. And what's going to happen is the color is going to pull up on the back of this, uh, on the back of the mesh. We're not going very heavy. It's going to be a very light coat. There we go. There's some gold. Okay. So remember, we're going this way. And then when we do the pearl white, we're going to come this way with it. So opposite directions.
feel too much cold, but that'll get turned off by the, by the pearl white. I think that actually looks pretty good. So now what I want to do, I want to spray the scales this way. Towards the head of the lure. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to go move forwards. So we're going to push it forwards. So depending on which way the light is shining on this, we should have a color shift of pearl white and gold. With the pearl white being the dominant color in this. So there we go. As you can see, you still have the stripes, but they are toned down based on however the light is shining on it. And I think that looks really sick. Let's do the next one here. done with the scales. And when we're done with this, we're done. Okay. So that, so let's go from very far away. Burnt umber, across just across the top. See that? There we go. Now we're going to do black. Okay, so some black across the top from very far away. Maybe down the sides a little bit. Just to darken that up. There. Okay. I think we got the scales done. I think those are done. A little bit more. There. There we go. Now it's time to do the unveiling. Let's unwrap this very carefully. Let's see what we have. Are we going to like this or not? Oh, look at that. Wow, I think that came out really, really nice. And you can see the scales. And then 
and depending upon which way, you have pearl white, and then you have maybe a little bit of gold in there. I don't know if I'll be able to put fins on it. I highly doubt it, so we'll just do some gill work. But that just looks amazing. I like how the the actual stripes are kind of dulled out a little bit. They're not as dominant. You'll still know it's a white bass as it's swimming through the water. And look at the back. That back just looks sick. Okay. So now it's time to work on the Okay, time to paint the gills. So there we go. Next are the eyes. Autograph. Finish. We're done. Let's get the eyes done. Alright folks, so here we are. The finished lure. Got the eyes in. Used some uh, mylar glass eye. Some black paint for the pupil. Got the gills all finished up as you saw. We did the underneath. Got it autographed. Diving lip. Hopefully this runs straight. I think it will. Everything looks like it's a perfect line. So now it's time to put our finish on it and hopefully if it's dry by tomorrow we will use it to catch a muskie. So let's put our two part finish on it. Well, I'm going to call that a wrap, and um, the results of that lure in the water, unfortunately I don't have a lure in action uh, videos like I usually do on these uh, on them, uh, but I spent two days trolling with this lure, and um, we ended up getting a fish, and I'm going to say it was a complete success, and as you can see the picture, it was a really nice muskie, so... Uh, if you like these videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe them. And I want to thank all of you for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. 
as much as I enjoyed making it and making the and um, as much as I enjoyed making the lure. So until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.